So this lamp thing uh, that we developed for testing for COVID is a huge milestone, if you ask me, from the standard test, because it is taking this test to the grassroots level where it is mostly needed. It is cutting down on the turnaround time from the time a sample is collected to the time somebody gets the results back and is put on treatment. And the faster somebody is put on treatment, and the faster somebody is isolated, and the faster we do the contact tracing, the better the containment for the disease. And LAMP offers all that as a suit, as one shop. We don't have infrastructure. We don't have facilities. We don't have correct equipment. We don't have skill level to handle it in these remote areas. So that is where LAMP comes in very, very useful. LAMP has T80 turnaround time of 30 minutes, just 30 minutes. It's not labor intensive. It does not require expensive equipment. It does not require special infrastructure that can be used for PCR machine and so on. It's so easy to read. You don't need computer literacy to be able to analyze it. All you need is your eyes, what you can see with your eyes. And it's, it is it is a PCR based, that is molecular based. It's not antigen detection. That is another the advantage that, you know, you can really compare it with PCR and you can raise your shoulder that they are really comparative. So judging from these advantages to me, a lamb is suitable. So we also have some suggestions to see how we can improve this observation for alti lamp acid. And it could be in trying to make alti lamp acid a one-tube reaction. What do we mean by a one-tube reaction? And we know this is very possible. Is making sure in the same tube where we'll be doing the RT-PCR for 30 minutes, we can just add reagents that will facilitate nucleic acid release and an automated PCR reaction for 30 minutes. We think it, we can work together with a New England Biolab, we can work together with ICGB to see how this, this aspect could be possible. You know, when we go to the rural area where there is no um, laboratory facility, uh, you know, you have to extract the RNA. Still, RNA extraction is very important uh, for LAMP also. We need some kind of protocol that doesn't need RNA extraction or that makes very simple, the RNA extraction very simple. Even that doesn't need biosafety cabinet. We can directly um, detect the RNA from samples. Uh, you know, in the, in the second phase, I'm planning 
to try in, a, in, in another four or five labs and uh, we will apply for the regulatory uh, part of the government in Ethiopia to get registered in, in our uh, standard testing protocol. For us in Nigeria, I would prefer, if possible, if NEB can transfer the technology for local production of lamp kits so that if it's locally produced, it is for life. <music>